Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at managing multiple accounts in Google Chrome. So it is very common for people to have more than one Google account. You may have a personal Google account, such as a Gmail address. But you may also have a Google account provided by your school or your employer. And you may even have more accounts if you help run a club or organization or something else. So how do you manage your different accounts in Google Chrome? There are several options for accessing multiple accounts in Chrome, and we're going to take a look at three of them. The first two are okay, but the third option is my favorite and is my personal recommendation. Let's take a look at each one of these. So the first option for accessing another Google account in Chrome is to use an incognito window. This option is useful if you don't need to log into your second account very often. Here's how it works. From your regular Google profile, click on the three dots button up in the top right hand corner, and then from the drop down menu, choose new incognito window. This will open up a new window where you're not logged in. It's like a temporary copy of Chrome where it doesn't know who you are. In this incognito window, you can now log into your second account. Simply go to the Gmail or Google Drive website and you'll be prompted with a login window. After you have logged into your second account, you can use it however you need, such as checking your email or accessing a file. When done, you can simply close out of the incognito window. The incognito window does not save your account information, so once you close out of the window, there will not be any record of that second account on your computer. Again, this option is great if you just need to temporarily log into an account. The second option for accessing another account is to add that extra account to your primary Google Chrome profile. Now, this is not my recommendation for managing multiple accounts as I think option three, which we're going to look at in just a minute, is much better. But we will go ahead and see how this option works anyway. So let's say we're already logged into the Chrome web browser with one of our Google accounts. If we go to the top right hand corner, we'll find an icon for our account. Not the one all the way at the top, but the one right below that. If we click on the account icon, we'll see details for the account that we're currently logged into. From this same pop-up window, we can also add an additional account. Simply click the Add Another Account button. This will open a window where we can sign into our second Google account. Now, when we click on our account icon in the top right hand corner, we'll see that we're signed into two different accounts at the same time inside of the same Chrome profile. Although this option does work and it does allow you to access multiple accounts at once, there are some drawbacks to this option. For example, it can get a little confusing as to which account you're in at any given time. And this can also create problems when you click on a link to open a shared file since the link could open up in the account that doesn't have permission to the file. But probably the biggest drawback of having both accounts in the same profile is that they have to share the same bookmarks and the same extensions and saved passwords and browsing history. It is very likely that you don't want that to be the case. Instead, you probably want to keep your work bookmarks and extensions and passwords and history separate from your personal account. So let's take a look at option number three, which addresses these concerns. So for the third and final option to manage multiple accounts, we will take a look at creating separate profiles for each account. This is the method I use to manage all of my accounts, and it's the method I recommend. Now a quick note though for Chromebook users, as of the recording of this video, Chromebooks are not yet able to add multiple profiles, although this is a feature that is coming. So at the moment, for Chromebook users, you could either use the earlier options we looked at or just sign in and out between users. So for this method, instead of adding another account to our existing Chrome profile, we're actually going to be adding an entirely new profile to Chrome for the other account. Here's how that works. 
So we begin by going up to the top right hand corner of Chrome, but this time we go all the way up to the smaller user icon, not the one below. When we click on this small user icon at the very top, we'll get a drop down menu with our Chrome profiles. If you already have other profiles that you've created, you can simply click on them here to jump to that account. But if you need to create a new profile, scroll down to the bottom of the list and then click on the add option at the bottom. This will open up a new window where you can set up your new Chrome profile. We'll start by clicking on the sign in button and now we can enter the email address for the account that we wish to add and the password for that account and then click next to continue. You'll now be asked if you want to turn on sync. You will want to click yes I'm in so that no matter where you use this account the bookmarks, passwords, history and more will always be saved and available. And that's it. Your new Chrome profile is now created. Now, anytime you want to use a different account, you can access and open as many profiles as you need. Simply click on the small user icon at the top to open the Chrome profile drop down menu, and then click on the account that you want to open. You can have as many accounts open at one time as you want, and each one will be its own separate copy of Chrome. For example, here is the profile for my personal Gmail account, and then here is my profile for my work account, and then here is the profile for the demo account I was just using and the profile for the demo account I just set up. And because each account is in its own profile, each account will have its own bookmarks and its own extensions and its own history and more. This is especially helpful for keeping these items separate between your personal account and your work account and any other accounts that you have. And that's it. It is very likely that you have more than one Google account. If you need to access those accounts frequently, I highly recommend setting up a different Chrome profile for each account. It makes it super easy to access each account. You can have as many accounts open at once as you need and everything stays separate between each account. Be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much and take care.